Alrighty, welcome back one and all to a new episode of Cult of the Lamb. Last that we played, we defeated Calamar, we did a witness run in the Darkwood, and we also managed to get a new fleece form unlocked, which I haven't done yet, but we are going to do that right now. So let's see what we can unlock here. All hearts will be replaced by 1.5 times the amount of blue hearts. Draw four tarot cards at the start of the run, but none can be drawn after. Curses deal double damage and cost half the further fervor, but melee weapon damage and health are halved, and then gain a diseased heart every time a tarot card is drawn, but 100% of the items will be lost if killed. Maximum of one diseased heart at a time. None of these fleeces sound good to me. But I will unlock this one because it just seems like it might be the best option. But I still don't really feel comfortable wearing it. So I will instead take the golden fleece and just rock with that. Now we unlocked the area with Shimura. So let's go and see how that works. Down in the silk cradle. Oh, it's going to be so many fucking spiders, man. I don't like spiders at all. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yep. Yep. I can already tell I am really not going to like this. This will be very, very tricky. Uh... The black kicker dropping when I roll isn't that good of an ability. So I'm not going to take it. Oh. Okay, so there's like a little spider web that spawns up above, and maybe if I don't kill. Maybe if I don't kill enough enemies in time. They drop down. Might be worth a test, eventually. Okay, those spiders aren't too bad to deal with. Oh no, they still drop down even though I killed them. Okay. Okay. No worries. I see how it is. Why the... Why the fuck are there? Are those fireballs to create like added bits of pressure? Because that is pretty cool, but still, yikers. Uh, rolling into an enemy would damage them. It's not the best. None of those rolls were very good, but I didn't really have much of a choice, unfortunately. Let's harvest some beets, though. I sneezed on the beat, and the beat got sicker. Alrighty. There's a lot to look at right now. Like, too much. We're still gonna try our best. Like, 
Wow, there's so much to look at, man. some hits in on that. I'll I'll take the hit. I'm fine with taking that hit. That was okay for me. Oof. Closey. Tempest Gauntlets. I'm going to take the Freezing Touch. Just because it's... I find that it might be potentially better for me to use the Freezing Ability versus the Holy Protection. He waits by the rocks of the darkened sea. Foot of the long, sudden drop. Within the maw of pointed teeth, beasts. The stutter of the heart then stopped. <laughs> He was the fifth, fifth bishop of the old faith, our brother, the one who waits. Back then he was known by the name Narinder, but as millennia wore on, he grew discontent with his role. He began to question. He was gluttonous in his ambition. And in my imprudence, I loved him. For it, I lost my mind. For it, he lost his freedom. Can you fathom such betrayal, Lamb? Of your own turned against you? Would you like to find out? He was the fifth. The fifth bishop of the old faith. Our brother, the one who waits. Back then he was known by the name Narinder. Ah, uh, it's okay. I'll just put him in prison. It's not that big of a deal. Wait, what? Oh my god, he actually... He's actually fighting against me. Oh, dude, I've got to kill him. That's... That's fucked, man. Nah, that's really fucked, bro. I can't believe you get me to kill one of my own followers. I thought he was just going to dissent against me, not me actually having to fucking kill him. Folklore. Does he do anything with... Oh, yeah. Shit. Wait, is he still taking forever to drop because I froze him? Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Now he's gonna take forever to drop again. Dude, look at that fucking wait time. Just because I froze him. Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad that time. Kill him. Oh, I ran into that. I ran into that. I ran into that and I couldn't dodge. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, what is this? Ah, uh, I can choose... You know what? I'm just going to sacrifice Fidget. He's an elder. He's going to die anyway. Sacrifice him. Hopefully. Do I get spawned back at the boss fight? I do too. Wow, that's useful. Maybe I should have taken this ability. 
in the first place. There we go. Easiest clap of my life. Nah, that was actually quite a, a little bit difficult. A small gift, beetroot. I'll take the beetroot seeds. I don't really have use for the small, for the small gift, unfortunately. And just like that, the first boss of the area has been felled. Now, what's my faith level at? Oh, it's real down. Oh, I have two dissenters too. Great. Who's the other one that I need to send to prison? It better not be Bon. Oh my god, Bon's max level, dude. I'm gonna give these guys money. I think it is Bon. That's... Uh, bon, come on, man. Fuck's sake. I re-educate one, and another falls. What's the quest you got for me, buddy? Aw, oh, thanks for saying you love me. I'm not gonna murder you, Bon, but I am gonna imprison you. Come on, let's re-educate ya. Man, that is so lame. Oh, hey, look, he's back. Barbados is back. I've returned safe from my missionary. 30 timber. Good job, buddy. Oh, and he's back too. I did it, leader. I've retrieved what you were after from my missionary. 30 timber. Thank you very much. Oh, we have one divine inspiration to unlock. Let us do the devotion harvest totem. Welcome to the cult, my dude. Vocalor. I'm not really good at this whole naming thing. You would think after how many episodes that I have that I'd be good at naming them. But I really, really am not. Alright, I finished that quest for Sozo. I should probably go speak to him. You did it, didn't you? You tasted the power of the mushrooms, yes. You're just like Sozo. Sozo knows you are a friend here. You must take this. A sign of friendship between two lovers of the menticide mushroom. Keep it safe. You can trust no one. No one! Thank you, kind sir. I wish to give you something else. Something to symbolize your dying adoration for the menticide mushrooms and their limitless potential. Build the mushroom sculpture? Seeking Sozo. Build Mushroom Sculpture. Is that a quest that I have to do? No need to thank Sozo. Build it at your cult, then come back to me. Sozo shall grant you one last gift. Sozo is always fair. Always repays his debts. Not like those liars out there. Oh, he really does want me to build the Mushroom Sculpture. Okay. Cool, and I do have enough time to resurrect Logos. Let's do that. Let's resurrect somebody. Where are you? Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Welcome back to life, buddy. And with that, we are good. Oh my god, I can eat my own meals. What? I did not know I could do that. That's insane, bro. I'm gonna go for a bit of fishing. See if I can find the fucking octopus. Oh, the octopus! Oh, we finally got it! Holy fuck, dude. It took, what, 60 days to find this fucker. Finally, an octopus. Yeah! Yeah, dude. As soon as I pulled this out the waves, I knew no mortal would have needed this. That's where you come in. Finally. Holy shit. That took ages, man. 
Not bad, not bad at all. You're a pro with the pole. You stocked me up nice and good. If you find the fish in scarce, I'll sell them. Wow, he sells them for 10 gold a piece. That is expensive. But that's okay. We are pretty late game right now. We are very late game. So, we've almost upgraded everything too. I'm going to do um, a refinery too. Just to speed up the time that it takes to build stuff. Oh, this one's free. Thanks, buddy. Oh, because he's an elder. Oh, so many elders, man. Alright, back into the silk cradle we go. Because... I really want us to um, see how far we can get in this episode here. I am not what I once was, though no longer wise, I am no fool. I know the end draws near. I can take some comfort in confession. The blame hangs heavy round my neck. I introduced him to ideas of change, but my domain is knowledge, and it is ever-evolving. An organic state of being for myself, but for him, most unnatural. Death cannot flow backward. It was I who had him chained, forced into subjugation by the four of us. Subjugated as you too soon shall be. Make peace. Bow to me, lamb. I didn't bow to the other one before, so let's see what happens if I bow to you. I am disappointed. I admit. I thought my brother had better taste. Oh, the followers just lose respect. Well, that's okay. Oh, man. Look. 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 Okay. Stop taking so many free hits. Man, I really can't see. Where any of these guys are coming from. Like, their warm up is so quick. I'm really struggling, man. It's super fucking difficult doing this. Oh my god. No, no, that's no, no, not happening. I just lost all of my soul hearts. Come one, come all to a place of wonder and delight. Where all that glimmers is gold guaranteed. Midas's cave opens seven days. Midas's cave, huh? Are you a massive fucking spider? Oh god, I should have killed them. I should have killed them. Fucking hell. I am on a half a heart. And I have barely... Barely even progressed. Oh my god, I hate bugs, bro. 
Oh, no. Damn it. I got hit by the arrow. Nah, this ain't even worth the dog. I'm not it. Nah. Not happening. Look, as much as I would like to revive off of that, that's just, it's not even worth it. So it looks like I can stack those hearts that I get from eating meals. Okay, Bun, you ready to join the flock again? <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. Oh. Oh. Welcome, welcome. Look, everyone, we have a visitor. Oh, stop laughing. I guess may not look like much, but fortune favors the gold. I mean, bold. My dear new friend, Midas's cave serves a certain class of clientele. If you can meet those standards, welcome. If not, please look around. You are my guest here. I will leave you to peruse. Should you have any questions, Midas is here to help. What is this? This is where we trust our precious gold to the gods. Sometimes in their benevolence, they give back more. Other times, it is lost. But it is not for us mere mortals to question present company excluded, of course. But for the use of such a service, the organization would require a, let's call it a donation. For someone of your talent, shall we say 10 gold bars? Now I'm sure great leaders such as yourself get plenty of devotion from your followers for free. But surely a visionary like you could always use... more? We can offer you our devotion for a great price. The price goes up the more you want it, and down the longer you leave it. The question really is how long can you resist? Buy 10 devotion for one gold. That is a waste of gold. Sacrifice a follower? Why would I want to sacrifice a follower? What is it? You know what? Let's see what happens. I'm very curious. Let's sacrifice Bruno. Oh. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, yes, much better. I have a few more of these if you are willing to help me grow my collection. Okay. So I just sacrificed the followers and he just... Okay. Okay. What an interesting character. What an interesting area. Okay, well, we're going to harvest our devotion. And then we're going to do the dungeon attempt one more time. Magnificent mixed meal. Cool. 100% chance of stopping a follower from dissenting. 100% chance of increasing their follower. Wow, that's pretty cool. Eat up, everybody. Apostate's cleaver. And the heavy swing. Not the best items I could ask for. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, am I right? I'm gonna take that diseased heart hit, and we're gonna get the two soul hearts as well. So if we're smart, we can beat this boss, because we'll barely have anything to worry about. These guys just warm up before you even get to them, which I think is the thing that's throwing me off. Like, they'll charge you if you don't even hit them. Which I am not used to. At all. Take out the blue spiders first as opposed to the red ones, because... The blue spiders are a bit more annoying. We're gonna go with the hammer instead of the cleaver. I gotta play this stuff so freaking slow. But it is the price that you have to pay if you want to be safe. Oh, I did not see that. See, you can barely even see the fucking things that pop up, man. It's crazy. Like, if you're not paying attention in this one, you get punished so fucking hard. The godly gauntlet. I'll take it. Do the boss fight. 
Vepa. Is that? These boss fights aren't that difficult. Like, they're really not all that tough at all. I'm just kind of waiting for it to get tough, you know? But it's really not. <laughs> but anyway... Like, I find it harder with the enemies. Like, the bosses... The bosses are kind of tricky, but they're not that bad. There's a lot of really big windows when fighting these bosses, which is really nice. Welcome to the cult, the far. Um, I'm gonna call you humor. No particular reason. No particular reason whatsoever. Alrighty, well. With the day coming to an end, and us defeating the second boss, we will end off the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, and night. And I will see you all in the next episode. Catch us.